Welcome to Rethink, the podcast that empowers you to challenge your existing beliefs and embrace new, more productive ways of thinking. Here at Rethink, we believe that the key to self-fulfillment lies in shattering old thought patterns and adopting new mindsets that support personal growth and empowerment. With expert guests and thought leaders from a wide range of fields, we explore strategies and insights that can help you achieve success and fulfillment in all areas of your life. From relationships to career, business ownership, and health, you are the source of your own success. We're just here to help you tap into your true potential and create a brighter future. So join us on the journey of personal growth and empowerment, and let's rethink what's possible for our lives. Hey guys, welcome into Rethink Podcast. Today is January 14th, so that means we're on day 14 of our 31 days to new beginnings, to a new beginning. Uh, this new 2024 that we're upon, we've set off to uh, uh, set our intentions and really be organized and get the best out of 2024. And we're really working hard in January of 2024 to make sure that we've got our goals, our achievements, everything that we want out of 2024 in front of us. And we're aligned. And today is our second review day. So every seven days we do a review. So this is your first time. This is the podcast that you caught us on, which is good. But in order for really for you to get the most out of it, I want you to listen to this podcast and then go back over the last 13 days, 13 days, and to uh, understand what it is we're doing. 31 days to a new beginning. Old timers, you guys have been here since day one. So, you know, not only did we start on January 1 doing a series, 31 days to a new beginning, but we started with daily content all the way back to December the 18th when we were going uh, rethinking into the new year. So we started off with goal setting and we went all the way into New Year's Eve with rethinking new beginnings. January 1, we started planning for 2024. So that's where we are. We're on day 14 and we're going to reflect over the last six days of work. So for most of us, this will be a reflection and a readiness for next week where we're going to start on Monday tomorrow producing a personal uh, or creating a personal productivity um, plan, creating a personal productivity system. What does that entail? You're going to need uh, certain tools, certain levels of organization in order to be effective throughout this year. And the more organized you are and the better you are to keep your systems and your processes in order, the better you're going to do, the better you're going to feel. You're going to keep down stress. You're not going to lose things. You're going to be able to keep up with your notes, phone numbers, etc. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for that. So, guys, today we're just going to reflect. Uh, we're going to go back over the last six days. So welcome, welcome, welcome into the podcast. Uh, like I said, today's the 14th, so it is actually a Sunday. So it's a good day to reflect. It's a good day to prepare yourself for the coming week. If you are all caught up and you've got all your intentions documented and you've got everything in order, then meditation, mindfulness, getting in touch with nature. Those are some really good things for you to be thinking about doing today as you are preparing yourself for next week. Um, One of the things I want to do before we get started, because I like doing this, it's fun for me and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I uh, went back yesterday and I started looking at some of the uh, numbers again as it relates to where our podcast is being listened to. So I want to give you a little update. Before we were being listened to in 145 countries or territories. So right now, our numbers show that we are being listened to, downloads, listened to in 198 total countries and our territories around the world. So. Uh, thank you guys so much. That is very flattering. I really do appreciate the majority of our downloads, of course, come here in the U.S., but we've got so many um, folks a part of this tribe throughout the world. I'm going to take time to recognize these folks um, because it's, it's um, the right thing to do. Uh, we've got a lot of folks on the continent of Africa, a lot of folks on the continent of South America. Uh, Asia and Europe alike. So we've got listeners all around the world. I told you guys before that there was a curious phenomenon, if you will, in that the good folks of Council Bluff, Iowa, 
uh, still hold the record for the most downloads of any city that listened to this podcast. And I had no idea where Count, Council Bluffs was. I've never been to Iowa, but we did a little shout out to Council Bluffs the last time I did this. And today, I want to keep in that same spirit. Our um, number three downloads of of all time, actually of all time, uh, believe it or not, is out of Dublin, a place called Leinster, L-E-I-N-S-T-R, L-E-I-N-S-T-E-R, Dublin. So where is that? Well, Dublin is on uh, in the country of Ireland, Ireland. And I've never been to Ireland, although I definitely want to go. I've heard so many good things about the diversity and the welcoming spirit of the good people of, of Ireland. Dublin, of course, you probably have heard of because most people here of Dublin is one of the largest, if not the largest city uh, on the con- on the um, in the country of Ireland. But I hope I'm saying this right. And someone that is from there can help me out on Facebook, but I'm pronouncing this Leinster, L-E-I-N-S-T-E-R. It is the southeastern province of Ireland. It comprises counties of Carlow, Dublin, Kildare, Kilkenny, which I've heard of, uh, Offaly, O-F-F-A-L-Y, Longford, Luth, Meath, Lowingish, L-A-O-I-G-H-I-S. Westmouth, Wetsford, and Wiglow. So shout out to all of you guys. Um, is in uh, in its present form, the province incorporates the ancient kingdom of Meath, or Meath, M E A T H, but it uh, sounds like a M I D H E, as well as that of Leinster. So it is uh, really cool that you guys find us interesting and you are listening in such large number and such a uh, volume. We just wanted to stop for a second and say thank you to the good people of Dublin. You guys are doing us a kindness by continuing to support the podcast. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say hello, uh, hear from, uh, uh, uh you know, from, from myself and, and from the folks here at the podcast. We really appreciate uh, you listening and thank you so much and continue to do what you're doing and share, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys. So let's get into it for today. You know, we're going to be talking about reflection. So let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, I hope you have your journal, a notepad, etc. cetera. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do entire reflection for the 14 days that catches us up. Uh, you need to go back to day seven in order to do the reflection for day seven. So I'm going to start us on day eight to be most prudent as it relates to our time. Uh, acts of kindness is where we were on day eight. OK, so day eight started our week this week and we began talking about acts of kindness. We started the week emphasizing the power of kindness. Acts of kindness not only benefit other people, as you know, but it can boost your well-being. And I don't want you to take that for less than what it sounds like. It is so important to be aware of how you're feeling because you're feeling your mood, your energy is going to produce uh, either more or less. The days where you are feeling less positive, less energetic, obviously the chances are you may get less done, but the days where you are really pumped up and you're feeling really good, you got a lot of energy going, those are the days where you can get a lot accomplished. So you want more of those days. So the feedback we received from many of you was very heartwarming. There's stories about kindness and different things like that. So thank you guys for sharing. On day nine, we started talking about healthy habits, healthy habits. Uh, We delved into the importance of setting those habits. That's not just eating because a lot of times we're talking about health. We go straight to eating. There are more habits included in that than just eating. Now, eating is a primary piece of that because what we're putting into our bodies will, of course, affect our bodies and how we feel. But healthy habits include also morning meditation, regular exercise, yes, healthy eating, daily journaling, and then practicing gratitude. So if you've not completed the tasks that were set forth for day nine, which was setting up healthy habits, go back, take a look at day nine, where we talked about setting healthy habits, documenting those, and making sure that we're participating in our meditation, our regular exercise. What exercise did you choose? Did you choose yoga? Did you choose morning walks, evening walks? Do you choose going to the gym? How is it that you're going to be physically fit? That's day nine. Day 10, we were talking about learning something new. 
which is super exciting for me. Each year, I always set out, I always set out to go to a place I've never been to as it relates to travel. I always set out to learn something new that I've never done. Many of you may have heard me talk here on the podcast about my love for woodworking and tinkering in my garage and with my saws. I love to um, download different types of plans and and put them in my book so that when I do have some downtime on Saturdays, I can create things, you know, wood projects. There are a lot of wood in my, a lot of furniture in my home that I created. And it's because when I do have downtime, I like to do woodworking projects. I also like to work in my garden. So what are your things that you've got on your list for this year in terms of learning something new? Did you take the time, as we told you, to identify your interests, research courses or certifications? Did you go as far as enrolling, setting clear goals and planning for your learning? Those are the key components of day 10. And if you're not completed that day, you need to go back to day 10 learning something new and go through those steps because the the at the end of the day we want to be able to add add to our skill set add to our interests add to the things that we really value because let's be honest most of the time as adults we have kind of got into this role of doing things just because it's expected of us and a lot of us are in roles perhaps jobs that we don't particularly um you know we're not jumping out of the bed to go to right we're not we we're we're thankful that we do have uh the job don't get me wrong but it's not something you're super passionate about so if that's the case learning something new can help elevate your skill set so you could get into a position that you do care about more than your current or maybe you know that you're going to go travel this year to a country that speaks a different language now's a great time to plan for your trip Now's a great time to begin, to begin to embark on learning that country's language so that when you get there, you can have a little bit more immersive and uh, successful experience. So that was day 10, learning something new. Day 11, we explore new perspectives. It's a very important day, explore new perspectives, where we talked about identifying diverse voices, meaning um, go out into your local community and just, you know, network with people who are of different uh, backgrounds. And you find out, you know, about those people. Engage in what we call meaningful conversations. This is reaching out to individuals and initiating conversations. You'd be surprised at coffee shops, libraries, government buildings, or just the mall. So many people, when engaged, are willing to have conversations with you. You don't have to approach the conversations, as we said during day 11, as a debate. It's just an opportunity to understand someone else's viewpoint. Uh, one of the things we advise you to do in talking to people that have different viewpoints to you is to ask open-ended questions, practice empathy, and of course, practice active listening. Don't prepare your response. Simply be mindful, be present, and take in what the other person is saying. So this is very important because you only know what you know. You only know what you know. Imagine how much more can be added to you if you listen to the perspectives of other people, particularly when you have an idea about a particular thing. So you only know what you know, but if you were to share that idea, uh, people could add to it and your good idea could become a great idea. All right, on day 12. On day 12, uh, we were talking about practicing mindful eating. Mindful eating has to do with your intention and awareness and your ability to really appreciate, savor your food, you know, paying attention to the flavors and textures of your food, but also understanding the importance of your diet. What makes up your diet? OK, many people, particularly in the West, suffer physically. They have ailments, they're on medication, multiple medications. Uh, you've heard a lot during this um, um, season of, uh, you know, global uh, spread of, of, of COVID that it, having a pre-existing condition can, of course, complicate COVID uh, if you were to contract COVID. So, so many people have pre-existing conditions. Why? It's because majority of the time it's because of our diets. So during this particular day, day 12, 
when we were talking about practicing mindful eating, we went through what it would look like for you to be a little bit more uh, health conscious and conscious of your food. Now, I told you that I'm plant based, you know that, but we said that you don't necessarily have to be completely plant based. It's a simple matter of transitioning bad habits into better habits. For example, if you go by McDonald's, every day and you're at the drive through every day, maybe don't go to McDonald's, maybe get your food from your farmer's market or somewhere else and meal prep that will help cut costs. Plus the food will be a better quality. Okay. It'll be a better quality food, meaning less preservatives and, you know, fast food is just not very good for you. So we talked about making a gradual transition. Okay. The example I just gave, among many others, gradual transition can get you from what you're eating now, the way that you're eating now, into a better eating habit. And then we talked about creating a balanced diet for yourself, which includes, yes, fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, uh, whole grains, and healthy fats. There's a difference between healthy fats and the fats uh, that are uh, not healthy for you. Uh, we talked about portion control, which is a big, big part of this. So many times we sit down and we just eat until we're about to burst. That is not portion control or self-control. You need to be cognizant and mindful of the portions that you're eating. And then meal planning, meal prepping, how to stay hydrated, overall mindful eating, the practicing of eating mindfully, being fully present, not only appreciating your food and the meal and the availability of food for you today, but also the people that you are potentially sharing the meal with, your friend, your partner, your spouse, your family, your, your, uh, your loved ones, okay? So that was day 12, practicing mindful eating. So it's a good review to go back to that podcast, take a listen to ensure, have I done everything that I can do to ensure I am putting the best types of food into my cabinets, into my cupboards, and further into my body? And on yesterday, guys, we talked about connecting or reconnecting with a friend. The importance of reaching out to friends that you haven't spoken to in a while. We said you could do this by identifying who the friend is. I don't know about you, but many times someone who I haven't seen in a while, they'll just pop up into my spirit, into my mind, into my heart. And if I do have that contact information, I try to immediately listen to that soft voice and reach out to that friend because we don't really know why they're coming to you in a spiritual way. Okay. So reach out to the friends. Uh, identify who you want to reach out to. A couple of different ways we promoted to reach out. Of course, a good phone call is the best way to go for someone like me, old school guy. Texting and email is a way to reach out, but um, you never know. Uh, I would use all these mechanisms in order to get a hold of the friend and then try to set up a phone conversation with the friend. Try to set up a conversation in the park or over a meal. And when you are successful with getting in touch with that, and, and reconnecting with that friend, make sure when you do have the conversation that you're listening actively, make sure that you're sitting down and really appreciating the content, the conversation back and forth. Show interest in your friend. Share and reflect. We talked about how important it would be to listen and bring in information from the other person and then for you to share your life experiences since the last time you guys have been together. You never know what could happen as two old friends get together, sharing life experiences that could be opportunities for networking, that could be opportunities for building each other's businesses, that could be human support elements there, mental and emotional. You never know what that other person's been through. Oh, they don't know what you've been through. Perhaps you've been through similar situations and you can share and support each other. This is a good opportunity to, again, appreciate different perspectives. Because interacting with a variety of people can expose you to different uh, perspectives and ideas on things. And perhaps your friend has a different perspective on a certain part of life and could share that with you as well. Connecting with friends also helps us to remain accountable. And it provides us with what I'm calling here a balanced life. Meaning connections remind high performers like ourselves that life is not just about achieving goals. Because we can get too tied up sometimes on checking something off a list. The important part is the journey, right? I think the example we gave was graduation. Graduation is the checkoff point. That is the goal. But grades one through 12 were the journey. 
And I guarantee you, you've got so many memories of being in elementary school and middle school and high school that you really, really treasure. Sure, you remember, you remember your graduation day because that was the goal. But the life part, 1 through 12, uh, was most of the human connection. So, guys, we, that brings us up to today, which is day 14. And, um, come, you know, going through our, our list of the last six days, I presented that to you already. I do want to tell you this. In the forthcoming week, we're going to jump into creating, developing, and maintaining personal productivity systems. I really believe that having a personal productivity system in place, one that you do utilize, can help you greatly in whatever you're doing. This can be done professionally. It can be done personally because productivity doesn't extend itself just to one category. You want to be known as a a productive person. You want to feel less stress, less um, encumbered. Uh, Then you want to tune in on tomorrow as we talk about creating, developing, and implementing personal productivity systems within uh, within your life. So guys, take the time today. Uh, If you're all caught up on everything I just went over, great. Now's the time to connect with nature, take a hike, a walk. Now's the time to maybe look over and reappraise your intentions for the year as you, you know, sit in your meditation and your mindful moments. And certainly today is a good time to practice mindful eating as you sit down with your family, friends, loved ones, et cetera, and ensure that we're instituting some of what we're talking about. I am really uh, hyped for next week. Uh, I'm feeling really good. We're about halfway through our 31 days to new beginning. So guys, make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you've not done so already. And remember, during our last week, we're going to roll out the course for this. This all is going to be in a course. It's going to be available for you. So a lot of these days are going to have worksheets to go with it. So while you're keeping these notes in your journal, You may want to transition those over to the worksheets when you get a hold of the program, some really nice worksheets, and they're going to be in a um, fashion where you can multiply them. So whether you make copies or whether you copy and paste, it'll all be up to you. There'll be an electronic format. Once you purchase the program, it's yours to do whatever you like. But we wanted to, to give you something in your hands to ensure that you had a tool that could help you to get where you want to go. Now, listen, if you're listening to this, in 2025, or you listen to this in November of 2024, and you say, oh, you guys did this in January. I'm too late. No, you're not too late. Any month, any day is a good time to start over, to to begin anew. So whenever you're listening to this, just be mindful uh, of this practice, uh, setting intentions, which is really what we're doing overall. It is always a good time to set new intentions, to learn something new, to connect with nature, to meditate. It's always a good time to do that. So set your calendar, start when you like, and go through each of the segments. Thank you guys again for being part of the podcast. Thank you, our friends over in Dublin. I'm I'm curious as to the weather. I think it's really cold there because I saw it was snowing and really cold in Paris. I know Paris, London, UK. You guys are kind of right there in the same area. But thank you guys again for for being such great supporters of the podcast. We really do appreciate it. Come back again, come back again on tomorrow and we will start our discussion about personal productivity systems. Until then, have a good Sunday. Bye. That's all for today's episode of Rethink. We hope that you've enjoyed this exploration of new ideas and perspectives and found valuable insights and strategies that you can apply to your life. Remember, You are the source of your own success and fulfillment. And by embracing new ways of thinking, you can unlock your true potential and yes, create the life that you truly desire. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, we encourage you to support the podcast by sharing it with your friends, your family members, your loved ones and associates, and even your followers on social media. Also, leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Lastly, don't forget to check out our show notes for free downloads and empowering ebooks that can help you on your journey of personal growth and empowerment. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We look forward to exploring more ideas and insights with you in the next episode of Rethink.